Today I'm going to graph two lines and find their intersection point. I've already calculated what the points are that will form the line, but this is just the actual graphing part. So there's my y-axis, arrows, here will be my x-axis and arrows. Oh, and make sure when you draw a line that's represented by an infinite number of points, that you always put arrows on both ends. That's what that signifies, that those lines go on forever and ever. And now I'll scale it using one whenever possible. My first line is y equals 2x plus 3, and the points I'm using for that are 0, 3, negative 1, 1, and negative 3, negative 3. So we'll connect those points with the line, and notice down to left one, down to left one, that doesn't line up. One, two, three, yes it does. Down to left one, down to left one, and so on, and that will give an infinite number of points that are on this line. That's why we connect them all, because there are an infinite number of them and we put arrows on the ends to show that they go on forever and ever. And then we label the line with its equation. My next line is y equals negative 3x minus 2. And again, I've already found the points that I'm going to use. The first one is 0, negative 2. Negative 1, 1, and that happens to be a point that's already here from the other line. And negative 2, 4. Line up the ruler. Notice right 1, down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1, down 3. Notice how that's making all these other points. Or up three, left one, up three, left one. It's making lots and lots of points. And the further away your points are, the more accurate your line will be. You can see here my dot is off slightly because I'm not even really hitting it but my line is going through those points and that's what's more important. The last thing, oh I'm sorry, before I do that I better label my line. Don't write upside down. Um, you can write along the line if you'd like to, but don't turn the paper over right upside down or anything because it makes it too hard for people to read. And finally, what we were looking for was the intersection point of these two lines, so I'll also label that. And that's all there is to graphing two lines and finding their intersection point.